I think you're a very nice guy. I think you are intelligent, and I think that you are very confused right now. And I think you have found a place to kind of hide. But it's at the expense of your relationship with the woman you love and that loves you. It's at the expense of being functional and having a job. And I think it's gotten to the point that it does constitute uh, a mental maladjustment. And I have some gentlemen that I've asked to come here today. I want to welcome Dr. Daniel Suzuki and Trevor Osmus. Uh, they're from Los Encinas Hospital. It's located here in Pasadena. They are a top psychiatric and medical evaluation center, and they specialize in medically supervised, patient-centered treatment approaches for evaluation and treatment. So I've asked these gentlemen to join us today because I've made arrangements for him to go there and get an evaluation and see where he is and see if he can learn something about himself to determine whether this is a distortion, a confusion, a delusion, or whatever, and if so, can it be worked out? And he may go there and say, nope, I've, I've examined it and I am completely comfortable with who and where I am and that's just what I'm gonna do in my life, and then you'll know. And so my question is, are, are you willing to go and be evaluated and take a look at this? Uh, we, we would have to work scheduling. You don't have a job. <laughs> I don't have, I don't have a, a, like a, a government job type deal, but um, I have a dog. Uh-huh. Right. I'm the only one that could take care of my dog, so. Uh-huh. If we arranged to kennel your dog, that would be all right, wouldn't it? Um, no. Yeah, Mika wouldn't do good in the kennel, no. but... I am willing to, mm -hmm. but there would have to be some sort of scheduling. I would have to talk to my parents. Like, there's a lot of logistics. Okay. Ronaldo, are you still there? I'm still here. Uh, you would support this, would you not? I, I would support that. The problem I'd be running into is it seems like everybody has a dog and everybody wants to put it over here. So, um, it's... It... I, I am offering a absolutely top drawer, five star, cutting edge evaluation and treatment center here, and I expect you to step up and support me 100%, my friend. <laughs> and if there are logistics to work out, I would expect this family to work them out if I'm willing to have worked out all of the resources that I've done and brought these people here. You guys are willing to step up and work with him and try to find the bottom here, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, co clearly you have a big heart to serve and protect people, but something's gone terribly wrong here. And I think if you come to our facility, we have a team of people who can help you get on the right path and help you and Kaylin figure out your future if, if you guys want a future together. Absolutely. I'm making you the offer. I would really have to take a step back and, and look at my scheduling. Um. Okay, there you have your answer. For 11 years, he's told me he doesn't want to get married and he doesn't want to have kids. And, you know, I thought that this whole transition to Batman was kind of odd timing with our engagement. Uh, I was just kind of hoping that they weren't related. Um, but now I'm starting to think that it is related. My theory is hiding, right? And escaping into fantasy, and that certainly fits with that theory. I currently have all wedding plans on hold. Yeah. I haven't gotten my dress yet. Uh, we haven't got, even gotten engagement pictures or anything done because I can't move forward. We can do the engagement pictures. <laughs> Robin has a sign. Uh, a little sign by her computer that says, if you hesitate, don't pick me. I'm not hesitating at all. I, th I, don't, I don't think that she really has that big of an issue with me being Goose Wayne. Do you support him going and being evaluated and finding out what's going on with him here? I mean, I do and I don't. I really don't think that he's sick. Um, 
I think this is him trying to be a bum.